Yeah. So if people that are interested in, in and I guess, well, first question, when did you start to adopt that approach? Like, have you always done that? Or um, is that something that you've sort of developed over time? And, um, you know, like, how did you sort of come to that conclusion and start to get those, those, those results? Yeah, good question. Um, so I think it comes from a bit of my background as well. I am dyslexic. I struggle to read and write. My spelling is absolutely atrocious. Yeah. But one of the things that I can do really well is patterns. And pain is a pattern. Stiffness is a pattern. Movement is a pattern. Even fear, it's all patterns. Um, so what I've done is I've taken a lot of my own disability and I know how that feels. And I, I try to stay away from things that would make me feel terrible. So if you told me that I can't spell, I already know that. Um, so I try not to highlight the problem. I try to highlight the strength. And, and that's kind of been developed over the last maybe 10, 11 years. Yep. And I've gotten really good at listening to my patient. Um, listening to my patient in terms of how they speak or what they don't say. So lots of psychology in the actual treatment as well yep. in terms of where they're at where i'm at where the mom's at but the biggest part that i'd say there is i know exactly how it feels to live with a disability and the biggest thing that i'd say there is to actually not just listen to your patient but really care for them to yep. really care for your patient means you got to put your opinion aside you got to really listen to what they're saying but don't just try to solve the problem try to really listen to what they want. And if you can work out what they want, it's easy to treat. If, if you can work out that the parent just wants the kid to say mama, you know, or if the, the parent wants the kid to just walk and play with the other kids, that's a great goal. Yeah. If you don't spend that time to actually find out what they actually want, you're going to miss it. You'll miss the mark every single time. It's interesting, isn't it? I think physio is probably quite often, they're quite good at formulating a problem list for their client but as you say is that their problem list or is that what you've assessed is kind of their problem list yeah. uh, you know and are they and we also you know formulate goals but again is that their goals or are they the goals that we've sort of formulated off of their problem list which is you know they are, they're weak in the in their quads and therefore the goal is to strengthen the quads um but do they care about that or yeah. Do they just want to stand up? <laughs> yeah, and that's that's literally that's literally at the heart of what I do. It's not about what I see in them, it's about what they really want. And yeah. if you can help them along that goal, therapy is easy. Yeah. 